How's it going Rogues Gallery and welcome to another Shadow vs Evolve video here on Red Zone Rogue. Shadow vs Evolve is one of the best games of the year. I'm just going to come out and say it. It is some of the most fun I'm currently having in TCGs and yes I'm going to keep saying that as long as it is true. It is so much fun, super underrated right now and it's definitely picking up traction. Today we have a gameplay video going over a match between myself and a good friend of the channel Cosmic Plays. I'm playing my aggro burn abyss craft deck and cosmic is playing his combo forest craft it is an insane match it is a ton of fun um just stick around for it it's just it's just a blast and after you're done watching the video maybe subscribe maybe like the video maybe comment down below and uh, you know what after that go ahead and subscribe to cosmic he's a great dude he covers both battle spirit saga as well as Shadowverse evolve he's someone who is as big of uh Psy games fan as I am, which is great. So yeah, go sub to Cosmic. He's awesome. And uh, without further ado, let's get on with the gameplay. Oh, yo, I can actually do the thing where I scan. I scan <laughs> you I get scan to be all fancy eyes. with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know what happens if you get any of the other leaders? Uh, do they just have different voice lines or more voice lines? Like, uh, um, yes, like if you get Erica, for example. Yep. So it goes up from if you don't use any leader card to get three voice lines. If you use the starter deck leader card, you get five voice lines. If you use the booster box exclusive ones, you get seven voice lines. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Ready to roll? Yes. Uh, do you want to go uh, 2d6 to see who goes first? Yep. All righty. Let's do it. That's a nine. That's pretty good. Uh, five. Ooh, I'll go first, I think. Alrighty. Well, good luck and have fun. Let's see if we're gonna mulligan turn one. You know what? I I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna keep it. Um well I know this is a very bad keep uh against Abyss, so I for sure have to mulligan <laughs> okay, this. Okay. Unfortunate. <laughs> Alright. Uh because I can't, I don't think you can afford to keep half a dead starting hand with abyss but it, it do be like that sometimes yeah you okay, probably yeah, that's better probably want some degree of interaction i think all right so we're gonna no it's my turn all right i'm just gonna do a very simple turn i'm just gonna run out a skeleton fighter and then pass all right sure thing go into my turn i left my sound up way too high uh we are going to start with a uh, well, I guess this is going to work out anyway. So, yep, we are just going to be very conservative and bell ringer pass. Okay, that's fair. So, uh, begin turn, draw. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll attack your bell ringer. Yep, last word will trigger. I will draw a card. Yep, sounds good. I think I'm going to do this now. Just maybe we'll draw into something nice. I'm going to play a uh, soul conversion. Uh, and destroy my Skeleman, and then uh, draw two cards. So let's see if we draw into anything exciting. Um, we'll just run out another Skeleton Fighter and pass turn. All right, up to two. Draw. We're going to play another Bell Ringer, and then I'm going to use a Evo point and an extra point, and then just Evo it into to deal two at the skeleton fighter. He is very dead. And then I'll end my turn with warding and pass back to you. Alrighty, draw for turn. Ooh, that is a, that's a card. Hmm, I have some options here. I th think what we wanna do is we're just gonna take a look at my Evo deck real quick and make sure, I did change it quite a bit uh, since the last time I played this. So I think, yeah, we're just going to run out our girl Lilith here for two play points. And then we're just going to go ahead and immediately evolve her. Uh, she does have a fanfare that puts a bat into our yep. X area. So we got a good old Bloodkin friend. And then uh, for Evo, uh, she becomes a 3-3 and uh, strike a heal for two, which is not too bad. Uh, and so, yeah, I will... Strike down your uh, witch. Gain two life. Yep. Bellringer will die yet again, and last word will draw me another card. 
Death to all bell ringers. <laughs> it's uh, your turn. <laughs> go, <laughs> go ahead. All right, going up to three. Uh, and she has, yep, three health. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's three, three. Shadowverse Evolve players should uh, keep a tally of how many bell ringers they kill over the next year and a half. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. They are going to be everywhere for a, uh, for a long while. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I have some options, I guess. Uh, I think no matter what, I'm just going to have to get punched this next turn. But we will play an archer. Okay, yeah. And then with my last play point, I will use a fairy circle, put three fairy tokens into my EX area, and I will just pass to you after that. Okay. So begin turn. Draw. Ooh, okay. Well, that would have been nice earlier. I think this turn. So the archer is pretty big, right? It's a, it's got one four. four. Okay. Well, I think we just. I don't get value out of the evolve being able to uh, get rush, but I do get the value of taking a card from your hand. So I'm going to play crazed executioner uh, yep. and then uh, evolve him immediately. So it's going to be all of my play points for the turn. Uh, we're going to pull our, uh, our fancy one. And so he is still a three, three, uh, but he says uh, deal two damage to my leader. So I'm going to go back down to 20 and then I get to look at cosmic's hand uh, and then I pick a card and you have to discard it. Um, all right, so what do you got in your hand? You have, you have a roach, you have May, which is very annoying. Hmm. You have this. A... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's backwards. I don't know how much that still helps, though, but. Uh, it's about the same, <laughs> about the same, <laughs> honestly. All right, so let's see. You have uh, the one that gives you a bunch of uh, fairies, you have the one that generates a couple fairies. You have the one that prevents an attack. I need to keep a note of that. And then you have a roach, and then you have May. It's probably May, I think. Um, I'll choose May as the discard. Yeah, it's May or Arya, depending on what's in your hand. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just going to attack you with Lilith for three. Yep. Uh, 17, you go back up to 22 again. Yep, go back up to 22. That's all my play points, so I'm going to pass the turn. All right, going up to four. Uh, those are definitely not relevant anytime soon. Uh, so what do we have? So I would need three triggers. And that would be... Actually, make sure I'm not miscounting, right? No, it's, I'm not. Um, so we are going to Evo the Archer this turn. It's going to become a 1-4, and then I get to select up to two enemy followers now and deal one damage to each. Yeah. Which does remain a 1-4. I am going to use two play points. Where did it just go? Uh, for Fairy Whisper, which summons a fairy with it and puts one into my EX area. So this will be two triggers of Archer, dealing one to two instances of one damage to each unit on your field. So two damage total. And then just to shortcut, I'm going to play use the last play point to also get another okay. fairy into the field, which will finish off both of them. Cool. Yep, they're both gonna both gonna die there. However, I think I still want to protect my archer, and the one damage isn't as important, or hopefully isn't as important. So I think we just <laughs> want to end our turn there. Okay. Yep, that's fair. It's my turn. Gonna draw for turn. Okay. Hmm. You know, I have five play points here. I think I am just going to just push some damage, I, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this uh, Phantom Hell for three. Going down to two play points. We're going to get four ghosts. Um, good old, four good old ghosties. All the ghosts are 1-1 uh, one, one storms. And they, um, at the end of my turn, they banish themselves. Um, and I'm just gonna choose violence and just kind of smash you for four. They don't have a sail or anything, so I can't attack your uh, unit. So I'm just gonna punch you for four. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, so you go to 13. Um, I think, hmm. I think we want to... 
I care about playing this forest bat out. You're just going to kill it with something you play. I'm just going to pass my turn. These all get to all right. We'll go up to five. Um, I'm going to send all three at you. Okay. Just I a shortcut for those at home. Go down to 19. And the rest of my hand is really unfortunately not exciting. Um, but that did open up a option for a slot, I guess. So we will play a Rose Gardener, which is going to fill up my board. Um, and you know, I am going to give you the Archer as well. And if you want to I'll take uh, one more damage. answer it in some way. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and I will continue. pass to you there. Okay. Well, we'll see what we got. Let's see. Do I want to do anything at the end of turn? Um, your Rose Gardener, that's the one that returns something to someone's hand, right? On Evo? Yep, it's okay. the bounce and draw card. If I if I combo three, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna not do anything at the end of your turn. I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, draw for turn. Yes. Well, I do know you have that card that kind of prevents an attack. So we'll see if you want to play it now. I'm gonna go ahead and play a specter. Specter is a two one with Bane. And it says, Fanfare, give my uh, leader minus two, so I'll lose two life here. Um, and then this gets Rush, and I put the top card of my deck into my cemetery. That's going to be this Lilith. And so I would like to uh, run my Spectre into your Archer. Yep, Archer, it will get removed here. Oh, uh, Spectre will also die, because it's just a 2-1. Um... Well, let's just run out some dudes here. Uh, I'm going to play in uh, Ambling Wraith. It's just a 2-1, and we both take one damage, so uh, 12 and 15. And then I'll just kind of run out my bat as well. And with two play points open, I'm just going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right, going to my turn at six. Um, three... Three coming at you. I'll take three and go to 12. Uh, attempt to do another three at you. Uh, let me look at my bin real quick. I am going to... Interesting. I'll take three. Go to nine. Oop. Yep, and then for all six play points, I will use the Aria, uh, which is only going to give me two more fairy tokens, but does fill up my EX area, and then I will ward uh, at the end of turn and pass. How big is she for ward? She's uh, a 5-5. Five, five. She's a 5-5, five, five. okay. Um, now I have to think about things. You are at 12. Okay. Yep, I'm just going to start my turn. Draw for turn. Uh, I do have. Yeah, this does. It's... Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play another Spectre. So. Oh, oof. Two. Yep. I'll lose two life and then um, one card. Ah, oh, this is one that I actually wanted Dire Bond. Uh, and then I'll try to run my Spectre into your ward. Yep, Arya will die. Yep, yep, yep. Um. Let's see, how much power do you have on the board? You have six available power on the board? Yep. Yeah, okay. So, and you have no play points available, right? Uh, zero, correct. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to shortcut three damage to your face with these. Yep, I'll go to nine. Yep, and then I'm going to go ahead and play a Lilith for two, and then evolve her for another one, going down to two play points. And we're going to go grab my second Lilith from my Evo zone. Um... And then uh, she's a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to attempt to... Let's see. You have another 3-3 three, three and then some smaller things. Um, hmm. I think I just trade. I just trade. So I'm going to run my 3-3 three, three into your 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Rose Gardner is dead. Yep, and I will gain two life uh, on her dealing damage. So it is nine all. And I'm going to pass the turn. Go ahead. All right. Up to seven. Um, uh, I'll send each one of each of my fairies at your two units. They are dead. Uh, 
Um, what? So be down to four. Uh, yep. Or I guess no, we wouldn't want to do that this turn, would we? Uh, and you still have two open. Yep. So pingy for one. I will take one. Go to eight. And then, yeah, I don't really have. We're just going to Roach. We are going to Evo for Storm. I only played one other thing, so it gets two, and I will swing at you for two. Yep, I'll take the two. Go to six. And pass to you. Hmm. Okay, let's see. You have two play points open. Two open, correct. Yeah, that's the magic number. So, my turn. Let's see. Can you do that? Do that. You can punch me back for a little bit. That's a little too aggressive. Okay, I'm just going to start my turn. Oh, that is not a bad draw. Yeah, I'm going to play out my crazy executioner that I just literally just drew. Oh, you won't believe this, <laughs> man. I set up a perfect lethal, so you're oh. taking the Rose Queen if you don't kill me this turn. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I will, will not be able to kill you. So yeah, let me, let me run through this. So it's going to cost me three point points. Here's another one. And I will show you the second uh, non-foil executioner. So I'm going to take two damage. I'm going to go to four here. Uh, and yes, I will take the card that, that is going to kill me. Um... Because unfortunately, I cannot deal you nine this turn. Um, and this is why you need a second roach in, in the Evo decks of Forest. Yeah, and I will kill your roach so I don't die. Uh, roach yep. deals two damage back, so uh, Crazy Execution only has one health remaining. Uh, oh, right, but you have to take the damage off the Craze, so the Elven Priestess will still get there, unless you have a... How much? Or something. Uh, so I went down to four from from that, right? So how how much yep. is your? Because uh... this is four on board. Uh, how how big is your priestess? How big? Is uh, she? she's a three three, and she evos to a four four. She gets like wisps if I remember correctly. Yep. Mm. Mm. Bummer. Yeah, I, I'll raise I'll uh, raise recall her right now. So I'll take another two, so I don't die. And then it's your turn. All right. Uh, draw. Um, I don't want that to connect at me for three either. Ah, oh, that's rough. Um, hmm. No, I just think we just pay the full cost. Yep. So we're gonna. Pay two to crack this, uh, to draw a card and gain one life. Okay, yep, you have to ten. Uh, and that did not do anything special. Mm. We're going to play three of these for one point apiece. Uh, Fairy Whisper is going to kill your Craze Executioner. Yep, that's fair. And I will use a fairy circle to get three back um, and pass to you. Alrighty. Conveniently leaving up two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Unfortunate. Hmm. I think. Does a unit, <laughs> this is an interesting question, does a unit still consider to have strike, stricken, struck, if it's dealt no damage? I do not know off the top of my head, actually. All right, well, it's going to be relevant because I do have Alucard in my hand. So I'm going to go down to two play points. Uh, he's a 4-4 four, four with Storm, Fanfare, and Necro Charge, so he gets a plus two attack, so he's going to go to six here. Um, unfortunately, that is not going to be lethal and it says uh, select an enemy follower on the field 
uh, and deal four damage to it, give my leader plus four health, but that's only on a strike. Um, yeah, so all strike effects resolve first um, before I have a response to do anything. Okay, so uh, yeah, I will uh, attack you for six. Yep, or I guess I don't know what combination of stuff I could draw, but uh, we'll use it anyway. So I am going to use the Woodkin Curse this turn. Okay. So my last two play points just to fog them out, but you'd still kill one of my fairies. Yeah, so kill a fairy and then I gain four life, go up to six. Uh, I still have two play points left. Um, I think we just uh, pass. Go ahead. Nope, that is not it. Um, I guess that still gives me an out of sorts. I will slam two into uh, Alucard. He has two life remaining. Uh, two for Archer. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. And then two for two more fairies. Yep, he's dead. Hmm. Not looking good um, here. <laughs> what does this even... So, one, two, three... Four... And then Roach as my fifth card, so this will make him a five and pass. All right. I don't know what I can draw that would take pull me out of this. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Except this. Here's a path to Purgatory. Uh, I don't know. I'm oh, take, I'll, for... I'll take three uh, and draw three cards. Yep, yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, um... I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do this now. Yeah, yeah. So, let's see. Um, how do I? I can't. Can I kill you? So this is this is an amulet. Um. All right. So, I have a dark general. So that's gonna take me down to three play points remaining. I'll hit you for five. Yep. Um, so you'll get another five here. I I don't have the kill. I could take you to one or no, to two. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So with my last three play points, I'm gonna play Phantom Howl, um, and it's just gonna create three ghosts because I don't have enough space for the fourth ghost. And I'll run all three of the ghosts into you, take you down to uh, take you down to two. Yep, and, that, and then crack the amulet. Yep, uh, per, pag, uh, path to purgatory cracks it into turn and deals uh, six damage to Cosmic's board, which is why he already cleaned up his cleaned up his dudes. Um, and then I'm gonna pass to you. My turn. Ha. Okay, it's it's nothing, unfortunately. <laughs> actually, does that, that doesn't even bounce, does it? Yeah, I have to have combo to bounce. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, wait, no, that is. I do get to draw something here. All right, let's actually go through the motion. So okay. it's okay. I get to draw a card. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. So two for that. Three, okay. which is five. We get to Evo. Sorry for those at home. I'm shortcutting because I'm like 99% sure I'm dead, anyways. Uh, we are going to Evo the Rose Gardener, which is going to bounce the Dark General back to your hand, allow me to draw okay. one card. Does it win the game? That was not exciting. No, um, uh, I pass and tell me I'm dead. Okay. Um, yeah, you're dead. I have two wraiths to deal us both one damage each, and I'll yep. take, me, take you to zero, take me to one. Um, drew into a second Dark General, but this was just the quicker. <laughs> <laughs> That was actually very, very, very close. Other than it being zero and one, um, that this path to purgatory draw was was huge. Was, was so clutch. Not just because it cleared his board, yes, but also because it drew me into more gas. Um, so yeah, path to purgatory. This is a great card. <laughs> don't don't underestimate. This is one of the cards actually that I I think this deck was only running one or two for one of the cookie cutter builds, and I made a full play set. So this is one that I'm running a full set of the paths uh, yeah the the craze executioner right on time before i could develop the rose yeah. queen for lethal too like literally the the exact turn you needed i'm like well that do happen which uh for those at home that is also usually what you want to do anyways right because by waiting for the executioner until seven you give your opponent the max uh number of opportunities to draw the rose queen and they likely only have one anyways 
So for maps maximum disruption, you want to do uh, exactly what happened that last game as a, as it goes to show. Yeah, one of my favorite parts about um, Blood or I mean, Abyss is that it is kind of like an aggro deck, but um, I don't know th th with the Crazy Executioner, with um, Path to Purgatory, you, you have some card draw, you have some options in here that don't just involve punching your opponent in the face. Though there uh, there is a lot of punching your opponent in the face. That's that's yeah. what it does. Yeah, it's very good at that. It turns out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>